Hi students, welcome all to this new video. Let's continue with the oxidation reactions. In the last video, we discussed about the oxidation of alcohols into carbonyl compounds using DMSO. Okay, uh, and uh, in a special case, DMSO and DCC, dicyclohexyl carbodimide, uh, and uh, DMSO oxidation of alcohols to carbonyl compounds uh, were discussed in the last video. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the oxidation that is the DMSO oxidation of alcohols in presence of oxalyl chloride that is known as Swern oxidation okay Swern oxidation this is the Swern oxidation is the oxidation reactions of alcohols into carbonyl compounds that is Primary alcohols are oxidized to aldehydes and secondary alcohols to ketones in presence of or the activating agent or the activating molecule in this reaction is oxalyl chloride. You are familiar with oxalyl chloride that is CuCl twice. Okay, this is oxalyl chloride or better we can uh, draw like this this is co this is co co c okay this is oxalyl chloride this oxalyl chloride act as the uh, activating re reagent for this dmso that is dmso is first activated by this oxalyl chloride then it re uh, forms a uh, intermediate compound that is alkoxy sulfonium ion uh, and which on reaction with the alcohol gives the uh, carbonyl compound as the product. Now let's check what is the mechanism of CERN oxidation. First, you know that the first step is the activation of this dimethyl sulfoxide or DMSO using oxalyl chloride. This is oxalyl chloride, double bond O, C double bond O, Cl. This is the oxalyl chloride. In the first step, this bond attacks this carbon like this and this Cl minus leaves the molecule and forms this and forms this compound CH3 twice S plus because this sulfur loses an electron from here and O, okay O then uh, this uh, bond forms between this oxygen and this carbon so this c double bond o and c double bond o and c okay an intermediate or a transient state like this is formed in the next step a cl minus ion okay cl minus ion attacks this sulfur SCl minus ion attacks this S plus and at the same time this bond goes like this this bond goes to this one okay and this departs or this eliminate that Cl minus eliminate so we can see that where there forms the first CH3 twice S plus and uh, then uh, this sulfur and chlorine forms a bond first compound this forms and here this C double bond O and this C, C double bond O that is plus CO2 a carbon dioxide is forms and this forms a carbon monoxide okay so in this tube by attack of Cl minus on this S plus there forms uh, this compound this one and uh, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide eliminated or removed from the species and we, here this is the active species which is uh, the activated DMSO okay uh, by these steps or by this reaction this is uh, the, the DMSO is activated and it reacts with the alcohol or CH2OH okay whatever whatever may be the alcohol this uh, compound reacts with the uh, alcohol okay this is dimethyl chlorosulfonium ion which on reaction with alcohol in the next year uh, then this ox it attacks this uh, like this attack occurs like this 
this Cl minus leaves from the species and uh, here also this boon or this hydrogen removes H plus removes from this alcohol and forms a species CH3 twice S plus O CH2R okay O CH2R in the next tube as we uh, mentioned earlier that is this is CH2 a base usually the base is triethylamine okay a base abstract one of the proton from here and this bone goes like this and this bone cleaves okay this bone cleaves and you can see that here uh, the, the, this bone cleaves so R C H O that means R C double bond O H that is aldehyde plus C H 3 twice S K okay. this compound that means this aldehyde is formed as the product if we use a secondary alcohol here you will get ketone as the product here okay uh, now we are uh, used uh, in this example we are using a primary alcohol so aldehyde is the product if you use a, an, a, a secondary alcohol you will get ketone as the product here some examples of certain oxidations are first example okay this is cyclopentanol which one reaction with the dimethyl sulfoxide dmsu in our uh, presence of oxalyl chloride cocl twice and a base that is tri triethyl amine and uh, dichloromethane at minus 60 degrees celsius okay it's a mild condition uh, usually the sun oxidation requires mild condition but uh, the uh, yield is very high then uh, this gives the product be like this okay uh, like the mechanism that we mentioned in earlier the, that's this uh, compound also follows the same mechanism and gives the ketone as the product another example ch3 ch2 eight times c o h h h okay this is one decanol this is one decanol which on reaction with the same reagents that is dmso oxalyl chloride base okay uh, triethyl amine then dichloroethane uh, dichloromethane it gives ch3 ch2 eight times CHO as the product okay next another oxidation reactions of DMSO that means the substrate with good leaving groups undergo oxidation reaction with the DMSO uh, in presence of a base and it gives the carbonyl compound as the product for example uh, consider this alcohol this is CH3 CH2OH okay this alcohol this ethanol is first rea reaction with a tosyl chloride okay tosyl chloride it forms ch3 ch2 ots here you can see that this ots group is a good leaving group it's a good leaving group good leaving this compound on reaction with a at DMSO dimethyl sulfoxide CH3 twice S S plus or minus okay it attacks this carbon this carbon and this OTS groups leaves forms CH3 CH2 O S plus CH3 twice okay this compound is forms and which one reaction with a base or a base facilitates this reaction a presence of base 
is uh, facilitate this reaction which removes removes one of the proton from here okay if this is a proton it removes and this bond shift like this and this uh, bond uh, moves like this so the presence of base this reaction occurs and forms the product like ch3 cho plus you can see that uh, here ch3 twice s okay so a substance with a substrate with a good leaving group also undergo oxidation reaction with a dimethyl sulfoxide or dmso and gives the carbonyl here the aldehyde is the product carbonyl product okay gives the carbonyl as the product carbonyl compounds as the product next dmso and acetic anhydride okay dmso is the oxidizing agent in presence of acetic anhydride ac2 Oh, okay. We are going to check the oxidation of alcohols to carbonyl compounds using DMSO in presence of acetic anhydride. First, DMSO should be activated. This is DMSO uh, sulfur S plus or minus. This is DMSO and plus acetic anhydride is be like this CH3 CO O CO CH3. Okay, this is acetic anhydride. In the first step, this attacks one of the carbonyl carbon and this group slaves. Okay, this bond cleaves and one of the CH3 COO minus CH3 COO minus that means acetate group leaves and forms CH3 twice S plus. Okay, CH3 is twice S plus O and COCH3, COCH3, okay, this oxygen and this carbon forms a bond and this uh, group, that means this acetate group leaves, then uh, this DMSO is activated, then an alcohol, uh, an alcohol is comes, okay, RCH2OH, okay, this is the alcohol, as usual, this alcohol attacks here in the first step. This bone cleaves and this goes uh, acetate group. That means CH3COO minus group. This bone cleaves and CH3COO minus group leaves minus CH3COO. Okay, then there forms a bond between this oxygen and this sulfur CH3 twice S plus O. And here also this hydrogen removes this h plus removes okay this h plus removes and this oxygen and this sulfur forms a bond like this and ch2r okay in the next step as usual one of the proton from here okay one of the proton from here is removes and this bond moves like this and this bond cleaves okay the final product be like this CH3 twice is plus R C H O. Okay, R C H O. This is an aldehyde. Uh, I use an uh, primary alcohol here, so the product will be aldehyde. If you, I use a secondary alcohol here, the product will be a uh, ketone. Okay, so this is the mechanism of oxidation of DMSO, dimethyl sulfoxide. Yeah, in presence of acetic anhydride, uh, that, that means alcohols uh, alcohols oxidized to carbonyl compounds through this mechanism. This is all about the oxidation reactions of D, uh, alcohols to carbonyl compounds using dimethyl sulfoxide or DMSO. In uh, firstly we discuss in uh, DMSO and the dicyclohexyl carbonamide that means DCC and DMSO. In the second stage, we have discussed the uh, soon oxidation that is uh, the uh, DMSO and oxalyl chloride and thirdly, we discussed the uh, DMSO and acetic anhydride. Okay, C3, this uh, acetic anhydride and the uh, DMSO as the reagents. Okay, all this DMSO oxidations of alcohols gives carbonyl compounds the primary alcohol gives aldehydes and the secondary alcohol gives uh, ketones. 
In this video and the previous video, we discussed about the oxidation of alcohols to carbonyl compounds DM, uh, using DMSO uh, in detail with the mechanism and with the examples. So, we are going to wind up this video here. Thank you.